question 3b. Triangle ABC with vertices A at 1, 1. A at 1, 1. X is 1, Y is 1. Good. B at 1, 4. 1, 4. And C at 3, 1. 3, 1. Is shown on the diagram below. Alright. ABC is mapped onto triangle. ABC is mapped onto triangle element by reflection in the x axis followed by reflection in the y axis. On the diagram, draw and label triangle LMN. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen here. No. A, first of all, reflection in the x-axis. That would bring A over to here. Because, remember, this would be the mirror line now. <coughs> A would come here. C would be reflected it would swing over and come here because if A is one unit above the x-axis it would flip to one unit below the x-axis it would reflect over C is one unit above the x-axis when it's reflected in the x-axis it would swing around and go one unit below so one above turns to one below how far is B above? 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 4 unit above the x-axis. So when you swing it around, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4 units below the x-axis. Right down here. Alright? So, let me just get rid of some of these markings. I don't want too much markings here. So, you'd have A, B, C. Now, that's a swing over the x-axis. The triangle that we would have would be this, right? Well, let me make it a little more accurate. The first triangle would be this 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 reflected over the x-axis but then they say after that you have a reflection over the y-axis so one unit a one unit to the right of the y-axis it would swing over and come right here this would be B, one unit to the right of the y-axis. It would swing over and come right here. So, so far, the new side, this side, would flip over, would come over, and become this. Now, how far is would C be to the right? The second C, right here. It would be one, two, three unit to the right. It would swing over and get one two three unit to the left of the y-axis it would end up right here so the new triangle comes here and then here so can get rid of this triangle now we don't really need this anymore so what we end up with is this as our triangle so on the diagram element now a it was here then here so L would end up here this would be our L want it a bit thicker this would be our L right here M the second letter would be like B right at the tip 
B swung over here below then to the left so L M M is the middle letter just like B is the middle one the end letter C it went down here one unit to the below it was 3 to the right of Y and it swing over to 3 to the left C is the last letter M is the, N is the last letter so it's N so this would be the triangle L M N all right so you see that A come from here to here over the X then over here over the Y this would be A but they tell us to change the letters to L the first letter is L the middle letter B it was here it was one two three four above the x-axis it goes four below the x-axis over the x then over the y one to the right of y it goes one to the left of y so the middle letter m is here c was one unit above the x-axis it went here as one unit below the x-axis when here as one unit below the x-axis I didn't write the M before and then it was 1 2 3 to the right of Y it now becomes 1 2 3 to the left of Y so C would end up here but we change it to N alright so that's what would happen in this case